This is the video tutorial for the Smart Layout feature in iMind Map 7. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how Smart Layout works and how to adjust the settings. The Smart Layout feature allows you to draw branches on your map and it moves other branches out of the way. So it acts as an anti-collision tool, meaning that you can generate lots of ideas and add lots of branches at speed without worrying about them overlapping. Now I'm going to show you how to edit the Smart Layout Settings. This can be found on the top toolbar, Smart Layout Settings, and when I click this, it brings up a pop-up menu. As you can see, the default for Smart Layout is set to on, as this makes sure that the branches don't overlap. However, you can turn this off if you wish. If you wish to edit the additional features below, you can change the branch dial so it can be, remain linear or by dragging the cursor along the bar you can change your branches to appear more curved. In the spacing options you can also change and increase or decrease the spacing between your branches as you wish. Finally the auto condense option means that you can have the condense set to off which is the default. You can condense only when branches are collapsed or deleted or you can condense on each change that you make to your mind map. Once you've decided on your settings, you can click OK and the settings will be applied as you can see in my mind map. Finally, I want to show you how cleanup works. As you can see in the mind map which I have created, my mind map isn't as neat as I would like it to be. This is when you can use the cleanup feature. Cleanup can be found on the top toolbar next to the Smart Layout settings and by clicking the Cleanup button you'll see that my branches have condensed and my map appears more balanced. This can be used at any time during the creation of your map and it also saves you having to move each branch individually into the position you would like.